Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find all these album reviews. You can find in Brandon's reviews, and you can find other reaction based videos on the channel. Uh, I have been doing a ton of these. You'll probably see like four or five, or maybe six reaction videos all coming out on the same day, which is very cool. Maybe I'll sporadically put them out, but who knows? I like doing these because they're a lot easier to edit put together and have like fresh con content out to you guys apparently i can't speak english tonight but anyway um if you are in a band or you know someone in a band or you're like this band's really cool brandon i don't think anybody knows about them you should check them out uh, please leave a link in the comments. Uh, I would love to do a lot more reaction videos, more specifically bands that are like underground that not a lot of people know about that you're like, man, this band's sick. I wish Brandon or somebody found out about them and like post them up. So let me know. I love to just kind of keep that positive energy going. Um, and again, I'd love to hear new music, so if you guys are down to shoot them over to me, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you don't want to post a comment on YouTube, definitely DM me on social medias. I will go check them out. But tonight, we're going to be taking a look at Life in Discord's A Silhouette Relapse. Uh, they have been on my channel before. I think it's been... It's been a while. I think I want to say it's been two years, I would say. Um, but I always love to keep up with bands that I have on the channel. As I mentioned, uh, I did one with a Brighter Than a Thousand Suns. I've been on uh, with them. Uh, Enox, I just did one too, uh, a reaction video, both reaction videos. Um, but I always love like, catching up with those sorts of bands and finding out what they've been releasing, You know what sounds they're pulling from now. And all that sort of stuff. And if you guys ever want to come back on, you know you guys are always welcome to. But uh, go check out Life in Discord. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find out about the band. Um, as well as check out this song because I'm very excited to check it out. I haven't listened to it yet. So we're going to all di deep dive into this song. And let's get into it. Life in Discord, a silhouette relapse. Let's go give it a listen. Okay, digging the guitars. Ooh, this is really good. So, so far, really enjoy it. It's got this kind of like atmosphere quality to it that I really appreciate. Um, I remember that was like kind of the bigger reason why I wanted to have them on. It just had this kind of like fresh sound and I love that they're continuing that. It just keeps to that sort of like, again, that fresh post-hardcore take. Um, I also love the kind of like screaming, singing combination. Uh, ve feels very Silverstein-esque. I know... Shane Told does both, so, but obviously, I don't know if he, he can't do both of those live. It's got to be one or the other, but, um, I love that the duties are split up between, like, the guitar player and, uh, the singer. It's just really well executed, and, um, the tonality of their singer is just really tight. Um, I, I like that he kind of keeps, you know, a very similar tone to, um, the song and it doesn't feel like I'm, I'm curious if he's gonna like expound upon his like vocals and stuff a little bit more obviously i i feel like the song i feel like the song would be a little bit too much if there was like a ton of singing on it like just like very like all over the place in terms of like high singing and sort of stuff like that I would love to hear him kind of like branch out, do a little bit of different things. Again, we I don't think we've hit the chorus quite yet, um, but I'd love to hear a little bit more variation on that. Again, really like the screaming. Uh, the instrumentals are really well done too. I like that kind of like guitar dropout, I would say about 30 seconds in. Uh, that was really cool. Um, 
I love that you could just hear the bass. That was really awesome uh, as well. Um, but overall, I think it's just a little bit of a slower start, which isn't usually a bad thing. But this, I would hope that they kind of pick up, pick it up just like a little bit more. Um, but overall, I like that they have this like really kind of like, I want to say like free flow energy to it. But just like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's like, uh, there is some structure to it because I don't want to like feel like I'm being super negative about the song um, There is some structure to it. It just feels very kind of loose end which I appreciate because sometimes songs can kind of sound a little bit like Out there if you give them a little bit too much, you know breathing room But this one feels like it has just enough but it doesn't feel like it's too much where it's like overbearing So let's get into the rest of it. Hopefully uh, we see some like cool changes or something like that. I'm very curious to hear what the rest of the song sounds like. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think I realized, I think I realized, not my issue with the song, but I think I realized what I think might make this song just like a little bit better in my opinion. Overall, I like that the, that like they really picked up the energy. I think James has a lot to do with their, their drummer. Um, he really controls the flow of this song and I can hear that now more distinctly. Um, but I love that kind of like, again, that bass tonality really well done there. Um, and just like the bass playing in general. I love that you can kind of, I don't know who did the mix on this, but I love that you can hear like both guitars very clearly. You can hear the bass, you know, really kind of taking more of a forefront, for, forefronted stance. Again, I can speak. I might just be like, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, I feel like there is more thought as the song kind of progresses. I would love to hear a little bit more like harmonization. I think there just needs to be like another level of vocals in the track. It doesn't feel like it's completely clear. You know, like I love their clean vocalist. I think he's just got a really nice tone to it. But it would be nice if like that tone and like that vocal structure was stacked on top of like maybe a higher register or maybe he could go down maybe to a lower register. I think that might be a little bit more of an interesting take, but I'd love to hear them kind of put a little bit more um, like harmonization, a little bit more like kind of different vocal layerings going on here because that is probably my biggest like I wouldn't say issue, but it's definitely one of the biggest things that I feel like I'm missing as a listener is that you kind of keep kind of the same tonality yet throughout the entire track. It's going to feel very similar. And I think that if you can kind of add different like vocal texture or like different like vocal layering, whether it be like a lower register portion of the track or like a higher, like more falsetto y sort of stuff, um, I think that would aid this song so much and it would just really make it more complete to me. Um, I'm very curious of you know newer material and how they go from here um but overall i personally feel like this song would really benefit from some like harmonization or some just like extra layers in there because it does feel very like one kind of note and it would just sound so much more complete if there was just 
something extra there that really takes away from it even maybe like maybe more lead guitar parts i think that would be really well done too like to even replace kind of the vocals um it does there i feel like there's certain like dropouts especially towards the higher end portion of the song that could benefit this song that much more i think the integrity and structure of the track in general is really well done um but so far I think it's just missing those sort of crucial elements, whether it be like some lead guitar work or like some extra like harmonization or just kind of an amalgamation of those two things, I think would make this song just that much more just over the top and just a little bit better, at least from my humble opinion. So let's get into the rest of it. Like that. That's cool. I like this. Yeah, like that. That would have been great. Yeah, that's that's what I think. I, I, I like I said earlier. I'm gonna I'm gonna rehash what I said, you know, about a couple minutes ago. I do feel like that last half of that track really stuck out a lot more in comparison to like the previous stuff that I was, I want to say, complaining about. I just love to offer some, uh, you know, you know, helpful corrections things of that nature um but this song is really well done i think towards the end it you know definitely hits its stride um i think this track just really lacks that kind of arrangement that i hear from you know more polished bands and i'm not saying that this band isn't polished whatsoever um i just feel like if you can really add those again the lead guitar was in there the vocals really had that kind of like richness to it um towards the bridge portion of the track and i think if they're able to kind of incorporate that in just a way that it doesn't seem like okay it's every chorus or it's every verse or whatever just the arrangement aspect of it would just skyrocket this track to me um i liked it overall i don't think it was particularly bad in any sense of the word um i just think it needs just a little bit more polish to it and i think that if it if at least if they took my constructive criticism on it i think this song could have the potential to be really good and again i'm excited to see what the rest of life and discord are doing um it just to me this one feels good like I, if I had to give it kind of a number rating, I probably put it at like a seven, six or seven. Um, but it could definitely be like a nine for sure. Like just like with little tweaks and stuff like that, it could it could definitely be up there with just like a really well put together track. Um, I just feel like it kind of lacks that foresight that you know bands that have been around for a little bit longer of a period of time have. Um, and I think that just comes with the you know the age of being in a band but um overall I think that if the arrangement was just worked on just a slight bit more this could be a really well executed track but let me know in the comments what you think if you agree with me if you disagree I'd love to know what your opinions are on it um if you have new bands you'd like me to check out drop them in the comments too I'd love to go give them a listen a reaction all that sort of stuff and um if you enjoy this content make sure to subscribe hit that thumbs up share goes a long way please go check out life and discord i'll leave links in the description where you can check out this song as well as the band in general um i hope i <laughs> i hope i wasn't too hard i usually don't like i feel like i'm never really like super aggressive with tracks like reviews and stuff like that um but i just feel like i wanted to offer some help at least 
at least I think so. I mean, I could be completely different. People have different ideologies on it, but um, that's what I thought. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for letting me just rant for like 15 minutes, and uh, we'll be talking with you soon, guys. Peace.